Hi, my name is Cheyenne, and I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your video card. In this case, I'm going to use a program called EVGA Precision, and it's really good if you have a NVIDIA card, which I do. I have a um, GTX 260 Core 216. And what you need to first do is, of course, bring up EVGA Precision, which is this, and um, it's good to also have something installed called Real Temp or anything similar to that. It um well you don't I guess you don't need it in this in this case because it shows your your video card's temperature in precision over here. But it's still good to have Real Temp in my opinion. And uh, also to test if your overclock is stable, it's always nice to have a program called ATI Tool, which is over here. Now in my case um. I don't have Windows XP and it uh ATI tool in many cases um doesn't run well with uh Windows Vista and Windows 7 which I have Windows 7 RC right now. So it'll say that a kernel driver is um I don't know it screws with some kind of thing. I don't know what it I don't know what it is but it doesn't allow me to overclock in ATI tool but it still allows me to um use the 3D view which is this which is what you need to test your overclock. Now, um, when you overclock, you use EVGA Precision to tune to tune your um, clocks, like the core clock, the shader clock, the memory clock, and the fan speed. The fan speed is in the clock, but it's important also. Um, in some cases, you won't have one of these for the older video cards, but in my case, you do. So, um, what you do is I already have a profile saved which is um these things over here you could save whenever you do a good overclock and you want to save it so you can load it whenever um you reset or something like that you can bring it up by right clicking this number 1 or whichever profile you want to load and um yeah so at stock my my core clock was at 626 because I have the GTX 260 um, super clocked edition. So, yeah, you um you could you could always drag these things up and down, but it's kind of hard to get in like the exact place you want. So you could use the arrow keys on your keyboard to um to go by the ones. Yeah, and so yeah. Now, normally, when when if you aren't very familiar to overclocking and you don't know what your video card can handle, you'd want to go by little increments of ten to twenty to even and even five if you want to be safe. Now, um, like let's say, okay, I'll set this back to clock. I forget what the shader was on, but I know the memory. Yeah, I forget what the memory clock was on too. But I overclocked it by quite a bit. So say I wanna. Okay, it's at. 626 I would want to bring it up to say um, maybe 636 like there and maybe try the shader clock up by 10 or whatever and just so it's so it's higher than stock now right now you would want to open or show 3d view on ATI tool and when it's done when, when it's you you can see this really fuzzy ball as you can see in the video it's um pretty cool uh, you just scan for artifacts and it will freeze and it will it shows you a clock over here how long it's been running and basically you'd want to run it for at least five minutes every time every increment that's to be safe but and then when you when you're when you're satisfied with your overclock you'd of course want to run it for way longer like somebody someone run it for like an hour someone run it for even a day I personally when I when I'm when I was happy with my overclock at um seven ten core clock, shader clock at uh fourteen hundred and twenty and memory clock at twelve hundred, I ran it for twenty four hours and the cause like every time you overclock, every time you raise raise the um raise the numbers here, you it's it's always nice to increase the fan speed. Now at stock the GTX two sixties fan speed is at forty and it's not that loud cuz like every time you raise the fan speed it becomes louder obviously but when i raise it to 61 i could notice a fair bit of a difference in noise so of course you want the fan speed as low as you can many run it at 100% but i do not like that so yeah what 
it's obviously stable right now because I I don't even have this applied because it's still at um it's still at my 710 by 1420 blah 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 at 61 fan speed because I haven't clicked the apply button yet. When you do, you don't wanna you don't wanna click the apply at Windows startup at all. It has to be unchecked. Okay. Um. You the reason why you do that is because it if it fails and your computer even shuts off and it's really screwed up you want normally if this isn't applied it wouldn't it wouldn't load the overclock you've just done when the window starts up so that's why you'd want to leave it untick until you're like convinced that it's completely stable so after you've done that and you applied obviously you test it for more and you're good to go now you don't want to see the video card temperature go over 90 degrees Celsius on full load after a while on ATI tool when it's um showing this fuzzy block thing uh because the the max the max for a video card nowadays I think is around 100 Celsius and that's not where it's supposed to be my video card doesn't go above 83 Celsius and that's after like a couple of hours running um a stress test like ATI tool or even um, OCCT over here it's a really good stress test and um, yeah so this is my overclocking tutorial hope you enjoyed thank you for watching